Hello, we are here at the end of June, believe it or not, 4th of July coming up. Hope everybody's got uh, fun plans with family and friends. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about, I was at court um, recently as a guardian ad litem on a department case uh, in the juvenile court. And what that means is a department case is different from a um, private case. A private case is when two unmarried parents are, are in disagreement about you know, their parenting arrangements, child support, et cetera. Um, a department case is when the county uh, is involved because there are concerns about abuse or neglect or dependency. And so my role in these cases is usually I get appointed as a guardian and light them to represent the best interests of the children. And one of the things that came up yesterday, um, came up in court recently was um, one of the parents was being read their rights as part of basically like what can be considered more or less a plea agreement um, that going forward, any, uh, if a finding of abuse, neglect, or dependency is made, that they would be on, quote, equal footing with a non-family member in the future. And this led us to confusion, so uh, I thought it might be a good thing to talk about. So typically in a custody case, whether you're married or not married, um, in order for a non-parent non-natural parent, meaning not the mom and not the dad, to get custody, they would have to go, um, you know, prove a pretty significant uh, hurdle uh, to ever get custody. The reason is, normally when it's a parent against a parent, it's a consideration of what's the best interest. But as a society or as a state, um, you know, we don't want, um, unless they're abusive or incapable of parenting, we would not want somebody to just be able to come in and say, well, look, I've got this 10 bedroom mansion. My grandkids would be better off with me than with this, you know, son-in-law that I don't like. Um, so it's a pretty high burden for a non-parent, um, to get custody. So if a finding of abuse, neglect, and dependency is made, being on equal footing, what that means is you lose that advantage in the future. And there's a Ohio Supreme Court case called In Re CR, um, which every court I've seen follows. And that basically just holds that if there was ever in the past a finding of abuse, neglect, and dependency, whether it was by you or whether it was by, you know, by you meaning the allegations are against you as the parent or the other parent, um, that designation sticks with the, ch the child or the children and then um, you're on equal footing. So then if there was a custody trial between you and a non-parent, you would lose that advantage. So I think that's something that's really important for people to consider. Obviously, when the county is, um, you know, filing and, and going through that process, there's major concern. So the two kind of go hand in hand, but um, that is the ramification of an abuse, neglect, or dependency finding. Um, which again, in my role as the GAL in those cases is to, is to say what's best for the children. Um, I just thought it was an interesting topic to uh, discuss this week. Thanks everybody.